Hello everyone, this is Dave Vellante with theCUBE. On December 9th, theCUBE 365 will be hosting GreenLake Day, brought to you by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Now GreenLake is HPE's as a service initiative. It's designed to bring a cloud-like experience to your IT environment, regardless of physical location. Now let me give you my take on what's happening here. Look, if you're a company that has relied primarily on selling hardware and infrastructure software on premises for decades, and you don't own a public cloud, public cloud, well, you'd better have a strategy that supports the single most important trend in the business over the past decade, and that's cloud computing. HPE formally announced GreenLake a year ago, and really was the first to do so in the modern era. We're seeing others follow suit, and why not? The infrastructure world is taking a page out of the SaaS business from a transaction and pricing standpoint, where SaaS models are being applied to large portfolios of companies that sell and service compute, storage, and networking gear and associated software. Now, like SaaS, these models generally require customers to lock in to a term of at least a year or more. And they'll require the customer to commit to a minimum threshold of capacity. So it's not a perfect replica, replica of the pure pay by the drink, cancel anytime public cloud model. But as I've said, neither is most SaaS. For instance, when you buy from Workday and Salesforce and ServiceNow and many others, you have to commit to a term. Now with infrastructure, it's even more complex because the vendor has to install capacity and commit that to the customer. If you so choose, you can scale up or down and only pay for what you use, as long as you commit to the term and pay for a certain minimum. So it's a shared risk model, which is a big step in the right direction. Now, I will tell you that initiatives like GreenLake involve much more than playing financial games. I mean, that technique has been around forever since the mainframe days. No, true as a service models require entirely new thinking around product design, sales force compensation, tooling to provide transparency and predictability, et cetera. For example, technology vendors, they got to get out of the mindset of selling boxes. They have to think about patch packaging services. When you sell a box, you drop it on the loading dock, you make sure it's delivered and deployed, you sign the customer up for a maintenance contract and you go on to the next one. In a model like GreenLake, the renewal process starts when the contract is signed. You have to earn the customer's loyalty every day. Not that you don't have to do so in the old model, but it's different in an as a service context because it's not just the services organization has to worry about the customer renewing, it's everyone from the CEO down to the support specialist. Look, churn is the silent killer of an as a service model. And an entirely new incentive and metric system has to emerge to support this change. Company also has to think about its portfolio, not as products, but as a suite of services. Turning their product portfolio into a set of services with APIs and an ecosystem that can plug into that. It's a completely different mindset. Now I also share that I think the infrastructure guys are playing catch up and it's high time we've seen this model emerge. Catch up to the SaaS folks that is, but I predict that it will continue to evolve. Let me give you an example. We're now seeing software companies challenge the traditional SaaS model. Two examples are Snowflake and Datadog, who sell on a consumption basis. It's a true cloud model where the customer can leave any time. And I predict that over time, as SaaS companies and eventually infrastructure players get more and more data, they're going to be forced to look at similar pricing strategies. And as they get more of this data and can better predict usage, they'll increase their confidence in deploying such a consumption model. Now, back to HPE GreenLake. HPE, by being first and committing the entire company to this approach from the top, Antonio Neri, he's like the, the CEO, he's a champion of this change. By being first, HPE believes that it has an advantage. The company also believes that it has some innovations that'll keep it ahead of the competition. So I encourage you to check out the link in the description of this video, register for GreenLake Day, and decide for yourself. I'll be there with a number of HPE experts and customers to share what the future of, a, of as a service will look like and what it means to you. So look, if you're a CIO, an infrastructure pro, a partner in the, in the HPE ecosystem, an existing customer, or someone who's following these trends and wants to learn more, register for GreenLake Day and participate in the conversation. You'll have the opportunity to interact live with experts, ask questions, and hopefully get answers 
that will help you plan for the future. We'll see you there.